coach, I couldn't help but notice the Chuck was practicing. What's his availability? Yeah, we had to wait, really go through this week and next week and just see how his practices go and, and see where he's at physically, you know, if he's able to do it or not. So it's really to be determined still. But he's out here with us, and that's good. What does the quarterback rotation look like? Sorry, Tom. What does the quarterback rotation look like right now? I mean, is Columbia still expected to start? You know, you know, Henry uh, Donovan finished the game and, and did a really nice job. And so that's something that we're still really kind of kicking around as far as we go into the bye week with these practices we had this week. And we'll come back, you know, probably on Sunday or Monday with our first practice and have a clear plan as far as the guy that's going to roll out there with the starters. So he is, uh, Tyler is medically clear. Uh, not, not quite. No. Yeah. What's been the approach to bye week? Looking ahead to Iowa State, or is it more of a self-evaluation, kind of working on yourself? Yeah, both. I think with with our self scout, um, a lot of self scouting, and then also you look at our what's our advantage on Iowa State right now is we've got um, an extra week to prepare for them, and so we want to take that advantage. We want to use that to prepare for them, but it's also an opportunity this late in the season to really touch up on some fundamentals, um, really at every position. So we were able to get out here and have a lot more indie time um, for each position, and really kind of get back to the basics of teaching each position from footwork to hand play to you know for us at quarterback pocket presence different things like that so it's a focus on ourselves in terms of self scout yes we want to get ahead on Iowa State because we have this time you know to get ahead and and, and to pr prepare for them and um, they play Saturday night at six so we'll have one other game to watch on them coach in terms of this week uh, how much of a mental reset has it been for y'all just obviously after last week and how important was that for y'all I, I think it was very important uh, I think it's very important for our players coaches and really everybody that's in this building to, to really just take a step back, take a deep breath, and uh, you know just get, get your feet back under you. And I think mentally, physically, our guys um, are, are in, a, in a better place today than they were Saturday after the game, you know, and, and that was non-dependent upon the result. Um, they needed some time to, to, to clear their head, and we're going to get after it again tomorrow, um, fly around, and they'll have a couple more days to rest and, and kind of recover. And, and that's the biggest thing at this point in the year. From a physical standpoint, you are who you are. Um, but I think our guys, they do need a break from a mental and physical standpoint, and it came at the right time in terms of our bye week. How about for you? I mean, a few days later, how do you evaluate yourself on the sidelines? What was, what was that like for you? Well, I, 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 uh, for, for, for losing a ball game by, by 31 points, um, that wasn't fun, but being down there with our players was a lot of fun. Now, being in the mix with those guys and, and being on the sideline with them, I, I enjoyed that. Um, you know, I just offensively, we got to score more points. Um, you know, being able to, to really feel the emotion of our players, and, and, and that's been good. Um, and so uh, I'll, I'll enjoy being down there with them, you know, especially if we can get these wins and, and play better. And, um, you know, there's a lot of decisions, a lot of things coming at you fast, but the offensive staff, they did a great job in game um, as far as staying ahead, as far as looking at what they're doing from a defensive standpoint and, you know, what are our next four, you know, what's our answer if they do this? And they did a really nice job, you know, on defensive series and special teams to, to help us get ahead. You talked about sort of using this week to sort of step back. What is sort of the mindset of the team right now? Obviously, you know, losing that game the way they did and then obviously the coaching change as well. What's sort of your message to them going through this week? You know, our message this week is just belief, effort, and fundamentals. I mean, that's what we're trying to do this week is is a, a deep sense of belief in yourself, a deep sense of belief in this team, and, and just do it with great effort and get back to our fundamentals. And so, obviously, everyone in here is disappointed with the results um, of Sunday's game. Um, as a coaching staff, you know, I'm, I'm encouraged with the resiliency and the fight that our guys showed in terms of everything they went through last week um, and, and really how they came out here today um, with a lot of energy and enthusiasm. And, and our execution has to match that on Saturdays. I know that. And that's what we're looking forward to and working towards. Coach, you, go ahead. You, you alluded to being kind of with the guys and kind of being with them. I guess what's the difference from being in the booth to being on the sidelines? Because I know you've done both before. So yeah, the, when, when you're in the booth, you're removed from the motion of the game, and it's everything's. Um, you know, you just, it, it, that's the biggest thing, is you're removed from the emotion, um, the thought processes and, and everything you have. Is you got, you're, you're laying everything out a little bit differently, but that's the biggest thing. And, and, and the view, I mean, you can see the view from on the field um, a, a little better up top, um, but otherwise it's, they're very similar. And I've done it before in my career based off of, you know, the offense or the quarterback and just needing to be down there with them. And so um, it, it wasn't a, a huge change for me. you feel like you learned anything in terms of the first, getting thrown in the fire there at Norman. Do you feel like you learned anything? And then also, 
the staff in terms of the process of getting plays called and just some of the changes there? Yeah, you learn something every time. Um, it's just like I told, I mean, it's just like being a father or, or being a husband. You don't really know until you do it. And so uh, it's probably much similar to that. You don't really know until you do it. And then you're in charge of, of really everyone and everything. And, and so just the preparation of, you know, checking boxes of making sure everything is prepared for, accounted for from a situation standpoint, from um, a meeting standpoint, you know, just the, the, the volume of that increased a, a great amount. And, and so it was good to go through that. Um, and, and obviously, you know, just handling all the situations and, and being ready for those. Um, and, and as best as you can, you prepare yourself. But football is a hard game to script because there's so many variables that change when you go through the, the game. And, and uh, but, you know, we've all got to be better and myself included. I know coaches often say that there's no perfect time for a bye week, but with everything that you guys went through last week, does this feel like the perfect time for you guys? Yeah, to this will be an opportunity right here for a perfect time for bye week. Absolutely, yes, yes. Sonny, how, how aware are the people in the building that, in an odd way, it seems like more all the talk about Texas Tech football right now is who's head coach next year as opposed to what's in front of this team for the next three weeks. Yeah, that that is that is a challenge that our coaches have have looked at and and. Uh, really address every day with how we approach our players, how we talk to them, how we come out here and practice, um, how we come out here and lead. Because at the end of the day, whether you like a coach, whether you like an administrator, whether you like any of us, the players are the ones that deserve the support. The players are the ones that deserve everyone to really rally behind those guys and the you know the school because that's who they represent. And so, as coaches, um, you know, we're, I'm not going to sit here and tell you, Don, we're not aware of it because we are. Um, but I'll tell you what, I mean, they're doing a great job of giving everything they have to the players on the field in the meeting rooms and making it about them because that's what this game is really about is our players, um, and that's what makes this thing go and, and so they deserve our support um, and, and our fan support and, and you know whatever happens five weeks six weeks from now we have no control over but today's practice um, today's attitude and body language and, and passion that we give our players we can control that I know coach Wells didn't really like to talk about becoming goal eligible and things like that but at this point in the season with everything that's going on do you sort of use that as a motivation factor hey guys we're one game away there's no point of you know, giving up on the season right now based on things that have happened? Well, I, I think our guys are well aware of it. You know, they don't really need a reminder. Um, they're, they're well aware of it, of where we're at it. And, and uh, I haven't sensed any, um, any give up from them. Um, you know, they, they're not the ones that, that have. And, and, and you know, they definitely have, have came out here every single day working and came out here every single day practicing and, and, and straining their bodies. And, and, you know, the game hadn't gone our way more times than, than, than we'd like. And, and so, but they continue to fight hard. And, you know, the thing, the thing about a bowl game is, is there's probably, we ask the guys to stand up and there's probably um, maybe five to seven players on our team that have been a part of a bowl game here at Texas Tech. And, and that needs to change. And, and, and the, the expectation is to go to a bowl game. The expectation is to win football games. The belief is to win and to go to bowl games. And there's so many different things that go along with that, that, um, you know, when you go to a bowl game, it's basically 15 extra practices. And it's, 50, it's another spring practice for young guys, for developmental guys. And so for your program, you, know, you have a chance to, to when, when you're not at a bowl game and, and your people in your league and people that you compete against are at a bowl game, they're basically getting 15 to 17 practices that you're not. And so they're developing their younger talent. They're developing the bottom end of their roster because that's typically who practices the most in bowl practices. And so that's an opportunity for us to get to a bowl game and, and continue to develop our roster. And then also as a reward of a lot of players that are older here have gone through a lot of adversity. They've weathered the storm. They've stood in the gap. Um, they have not backed down. Um, they have not ran. And, and you really would like to reward them with a bowl game and, and really just reward them with a victory. I mean, next week, let's win a game and then worry about the following week then. Good time for two more. Was there anything? Uh, follow up on Tyler real quick. When was it that he first put the shoulder pads back on and started doing stuff on the field again, kind of in a team setting? Two weeks ago, he started on his own um, shoulder pads. Today was the first day. Okay. Today's yeah. the first day. Mm -hmm. Is there anything with the playbook that you hold back with Donovan out there? Not really. Yeah, not really. He he he's he can do it all. Yeah. He, he has a firm grasp too. You feel like of the playbook, and he knows. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, with all the quarterbacks, I never want to. I never want to oversaturate them with offense. I want it to be very clear for them. And so, as we go through the week, you know, if there's something that we're doing that's new or different that they don't feel comfortable with, we just we just throw it in the garbage can and, and go to the things that they are good with. But I have complete confidence that he can. You know, he, he, we want him to be able to master it all. You know, that what we do in the game plan, and I feel pretty good about him. And then one more, just the, your reaction to Gary Patterson. Uh, yeah, it's just crazy. You know, it's just, you know, 
you know, as much as he's coached and as long as he's coached. And um, just, just uh, like I said a couple weeks ago, just very appreciative of the time that I was able to spend with him and learn from him. Um, appreciative of the opportunity that he gave me to come there and, and, and believe in me as a coordinator. Um, and, and just probably pretty much an icon of college football coaching. Um, and, and I obviously know we're all in the results business, but um, you know, not a greater football coach, not a greater defensive mind. And, and, and uh, you know, he really you know, talked about a lot of growing up coaches. And, and shoot, he did that for me and a bunch of other guys.